to be professional now. Pretend. Why? Not though. <laughs> Be yourself, Ra. Be yourself. Be all that you can be. And it's okay <laughs> to be gay. Be yourself. Be all. Can you imagine that you the can the be, be all? Because be all you can be was a wasn't that a like uh, an army song? I thought it was like for, oh. for the navy or something, wasn't it? Or something. I don't think like they're going to be talking about like be a, gay and be all you can be. It was like a, a, a like a, a jingle. A, but I thought or it was like a, a in a recruitment video. Yeah. Today on the show, we are talking Welcome about... Welcome to <laughs> watch and learn about us complaining.com. Watch and nope. Yeah, we're talking about How many nope. fucking jokes have been made about the title of that movie, though? Oh, shit! Also, I spent... Okay. So, welcome to Watch Complain. I'm Phil, and that's Rob. Um... We watched the movie, so we went and saw the movie Nope, and everybody's already talking about it, and we're late to the game, but that's because we're old. Um, I spent the whole next day, after we watched Nope, thinking about two things. We and, watched it together. That's right, we did. And Phil jumped like a, a scared girl. little girl <laughs> when a spider came down beside him, but we'll talk about that in a second. But happened, but I want to see if, if you think about this, thinked. Thunked about this. Okay. In the, it, it, it starts with the aftermath of a uh, monkey on a show, Gordy the monkey. Uh, having he's, gone, he's not a monkey. Uh, he's sorry, a, a primate. He's a prime. He's, he's a is he a chimpanzee? Yeah. Is he something like that? Um, yeah, I believe he's a chimp. So um, I was going to comment, so I had to say something. <laughs> but throughout the whole movie, they refer back to because uh, Daniel Young's character is from. Uh, that show, Go Gordy, or it's about Gordy or something. And I spent the entire next day thinking about why that was there. Yeah. Like, it what, makes, yeah. what was the purpose of it? Not in a bad way, but because I know Jordan Peele is a smart guy, and he put it there for a reason. In, yeah, during the movie, you're just like, well, yeah, that was I, pointless. Like, don't put that. Not, see, we keep I didn't think cutting it was away to this thing. But I, I know it means something. Yeah. My, I'm, I'm trying to then, fucking wrap then in my your brain. brain. In yeah. your brain, it's pointless because you don't know. Um, at that point, at that point, I wouldn't you call it. You should know during the movie. No, I, I don't think I see. That's what I like about it. I feel like it's one of those things that you need to think about okay. when you go home, mm -hmm. and that's what I like. I like movies with homework. I'm one of those fucking nerds, mm -hmm. and I had to be clued in. So I figured out what it meant to me, and I think what the whole point of it is. First of all, if you haven't watched our show before, please like and subscribe. Smash that. Wank button. This is very much spoiler heavy, and uh, it's like a book club. You Wank. go watch it, you come back and watch our show, and it's like a community. Read books together. We all get we're, the whole podcast is just going to be us reading books for an hour. Nobody talks. We just read books. Uh, Rob, nope. Uh, nah. Reading's good for you. Nope. I'm just finishing uh, Stephen King's The Institute, and I have to admit, I am not impressed with it. It is fine, but it's like the new Stephen King where he doesn't have a lot of teeth. He's not very mean. I like the coked out, and I think we've talked about this before. I like coked out murder children Stephen King. And uh, the Stephen King from the Institute is I just love not murder that same children. Guy. But so I'm whole day I'm thinking, I'm like, what the fuck is Gordy? And then I think I got it. Um, Gordy represents taking something that shouldn't be controlled something that you can't you can't take something that has a reactionary nature and has a fight or flight response that's a sentient creature put it into a situation where it doesn't know what the fuck's going on and expect it expect to be able to control it because when you think of it the same thing happens with the horses there's constant shots of the horses freaking the fuck out and kicking people and fucking taking off like yeah. crazy you can't control the horses uh, and the, he says seeing in, in in the movie, the mo yep. movie scene. When it kicks the woman, yeah, because yep. he's, he's got it right in front of the, the horse's eye, yep. right? So, and there's all these scenes where, he, and, and, and a lot of the movie comes down to, like, even the 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 nope that's, that's coming down, right? He knows, okay, uh, 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 Daniel Young tries to control it, right? He tries to say, hey, we're going to feed it horses or whatever. You can't control it. It's going to, you can't control something that's got a, uh, a mind of its own. And I think that's why that Gordy part is there to remind you 
here's how we started. And Glenn Young is uh, Glenn Young, <laughs> Glenn from Walking Dead. Glenn Young has been part of that, where he knows that you can't control something that's got a mind of its own. He he, and my wife. But he he tempted fate on the Gordy show, and then he tempted fate again, and that time it fucking ate him. And the other thing, well, he wasn't. Sure. It ate him. Yeah, but the, he didn't tempt the fate. Yes, he did. He was he was feeding it horses. Remember, no, but you're but, going to see but it. You said on on the Gordy show or he, whatever he, it is, he, he was he, part he, of it. He was just part of it. He was part of it, but he saw he saw what happened. fate being tempted, and he was like, yeah. and he he didn't learn his lesson. He didn't say, "Holy shit, I'm gonna fucking stay the fuck away from this thing. I'm never gonna try to talk to it. I'm gonna keep my eyes on the goddamn ground and never look at it. Yeah. Never look it in the eye because that's what uh, uh, OJ does. Never shut up." OJ says, never look it in the eye, keep your eyes on the fucking ground. And then people look at it and look what happens to them. Yep. Also, it was fun to see a TMZ guy get fucking eaten. That was great. But the other thing, and this I had to look up to, and because I, I wanted to get what Jordan Peele's opinion of it was. The word nope, right? What does it mean? Does it mean anything beyond the word nope, right? Like when I love there's, there's you know, a bunch of scenes where like OJ looks out the fucking door of his car and he's just like, nope. It's back into his car. He's like, nope, fuck this shit. Um, but a lot of people, and, and Jordan Peele didn't say no about it, which I thought was cool because that's a, a great way to let people come up with their own shit. And you can just say, yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that the whole time. Uh, what if it's an acronym? Meaning not of planet Earth. What was the thing that people were talking about? Like, that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm not saying that's what it is, but I like that idea. You don't call it an alien, but you call it not of planet Earth. It's on an acronym now. Which okay. I thought was cool. Just like uh, not UFOs. Uh, yeah, UA, what are UAPs? You call them? UA, yeah, UAPs or AUPs. Unidentified like astroplane. Something like that. But I, I Aerial phenomena. I thought that was really cool. And, and you know, I'm sure I, I made it pretty obvious. I fucking loved it. I had a ball. It was of Jordan Peele's. I love that they mentioned ancient aliens in it. The TV should've. show? No, they did. The yeah, the little uh, the fuck is his name Felix or something. The the guy from like Best Buy, he talks yeah, yeah, about yeah. it on the on yeah. that show. And I was like, oh yeah, that's my people. Uh, I just <laughs> I really really enjoyed it. I think it's my favorite of the Jordan Peele movies because it it's very intelligent, which I I, I really liked. But it also it uh, for me, I feel like it it sets you up to expect one thing, and then it became something totally different. Because yeah. it sets you up like, oh, that's a flying saucer that maybe they're coming to talk to us and we don't and know. Like, aliens will show up. Right. And, yeah. Because they do, they play the with barn, that the, yeah, in the which barn. Which is fucking great. And that fr that was the most creepy <laughs> of the whole movie, like the most creepy scene, because it was just like, are these aliens? It really threw you for a loop, eh? That was great. I, I was... So when you jumped at that scene, which was comical, and then I was giggling. So th because there was a few scenes, but the first one was <laughs> the grass, not grass, uh, praying, uh, mantis. praying mantis on the lens. Well, we didn't know what it was yet. Which was quite comical. And I, um, I jumped out of my seat. <laughs> and I started you laughing at you, and then you got mad at me. Yeah. And then you were coughing, and the old dude who oh, was in front of us that's right. Before like, pulls his even fucking started. shirt up. <laughs> no, so what happened was I choked on my saliva or something. And and dude, like, probably had an internal freak out and go and yeah, definitely goes like this and is like that for like, I'd say a good half an hour into the movie. And, that was funny. And his wife even looks at him at one point and goes, "I'm I'm I, I, I turn to Rob. I'm like, I should just keep coughing the whole movie and just freak this guy out. Like, I know I don't want to be that guy, the COVID guy that's, that's just like, oh, I'm gonna scare people and be an asshole. That's not what I was being. I just happened to choke. That was funny. And this guy was just so paranoid. I'm having peace tea. Also, if you're that paranoid, why wouldn't you bring a mask with you everywhere? Right. Like you think, or wear, yeah, wear it during the entire yeah, fucking movie. Be happy. Like uh, we don't care if if you are wearing a mask in the store. Like I'm there not was, doing it now. I but. went and watched uh, Lost Highway on Thursday night, and uh, p tons of people left their masks. Oh, on. people actually showed up. Yeah, everybody likes David Lynch except you. Uh, and Blake, I, I told a coworker of mine that I was going to. He's like, F I hate fucking David Lynch, which I thought was funny. But so 
Yeah, I, I like how it's uh, that's the alien coming out. Oh, okay. I like <laughs> I how like, who are you waving? To? You're like uh, you're thinking that it's an alien ship because it's a saucer that's going yeah. through the stars. Because at first, yeah, it's it's yeah. zipping through, and he's like, uh, nope." <laughs> Goes back and he's like, uh, "I saw something." But so, but then you find it effectively. Like it's, I love that it's the quiet dude. Yeah, like it's not the guy that's like paranoid who's like yep. telling everyone, "Oh, I think there's." But, he would never think of like aliens. Think, to but begin think with. of it though, the guy that like I don't want none of this shit. I'm not looking at it. Like I don't want anything to do with it. He's the guy that figures out how to beat it. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's and why not I think it's, it. it's such a fucking well. Well, effectively, yeah, like, yeah, yeah not get end, eaten. Yeah. Put it that way, right? Not get eaten. Yeah. At first, it was just like, oh, I figured out its patterns. I figured out its... I just, I really liked it because it shows that OJ, he, he's he's a man of few words and he's a thinker. You know what I mean? And his wife, wife, his sister is kind of the, um, uh, well kind of the crazy one, <laughs> one right? But she's a crazy one. Yeah. Uh, and then that guy um, that they get from Best Buy... He's kind of another, oh, watch the skies, watch the sky. And then they they get that fucking editor who's got that deep fucking gravelly voice. I didn't voice. like it. What, the editor guy? I, thought, I, I, I get what they were cool. pushing across. I get the kind of person. But I, it, some of it was hard to he, like understand as he was yeah, talking. Yeah, I don't have a problem. Yeah, it was just too gravelly. <laughs> it's like, fuck off. When I was thinking about it, you know, when you think of what he's editing while he's talking to her on the phone, he's editing... Um, uh, the uh, eyes of animals, animals being attacked, right? Yeah. Like animals going towards a crocodile. It constantly keeps on coming back to if if there's an animal that might attack you, don't think because you're the we're the top of the fucking food chain that we can control it. That was the entire to in me to me the entire message of the fucking movie. Know your fucking place. If something like don't don't try to fucking go up to an ape and put a fucking party hat on it and say we're gonna have a birthday. Yeah, it's a fucking ape. It is stronger than you. It will, it will kill you. Yeah. Use your fucking brain. And read the room. And and uh, I feel like that was the message of the movie. And I really fucking enjoyed it. I, and we were talking upstairs. It's like the people that like go into. I'm gonna go to the Congo and and go visit the gorillas and yep. and think that they don't have a chance that that gorilla is gonna punch you in the fucking head and kill you and kill it you possibly could right? They are much 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 stronger than you. Mm -hmm. Like use One your flick. fucking brain. <laughs> but I, but uh, those are examples. Elephants and wherever and it's yep. it's just like you go visit these things and and they're they're not well well protected. You're not you're not well protected. But the people who eat at restaurants and the elephants are around them, or the giraffes, and and the, they'll come up to you and barge your table, and it's just like, are you fucking dumb? <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? Like, I don't want to be trampled. <laughs> I'd love an experience like that, but like the it's, chance. But th that's what it is. It's I'd love an experience like that, but I understand that these creatures are wild animals. Mm -hmm. It's the same as I fucking hate when. People are like, oh, you can fucking, like, domesticate a lion. Like that Tiger King dipshit. Well, I've got this lion at home. Dude, it is a wild animal. Yep. Never, ever, ever Never forget that. My know. wife constantly likes to, like, remind that about, like, pit bulls. Pit bulls. Yes. And pit bulls are beautiful dogs. Don't get me wrong. But any, like, the, 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 the Dobermans, the pit bulls. Any dog, any dog is a wild fucking animal, and they can, you can of course see that be domesticated. In cats. Yeah, like they like, don't dude, give those, shit. Those fuckers will go after you. So use your fucking head. I, I told the wife I have an issue with anything over a certain size. If I can't control it, like mm. if I can't open its mouth, if something happens, mm -hmm. like if if it grabs a hold of a toddler or something, like fuck that. Yeah. Like I do not trust as much as I would love like. A golden retriever, or, or oh, golden. There, see, I, I know for me, but if they went crazy, yeah, how much jaw pressure is there? Can you open it's its true. jaws? But uh, like for me, you know, the 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 dog after uh, my princess Zelda is gone. Uh, I've said to Karen is is going to be a monstrously large dog. Like I want, like, I can't Great Dane oh. or Alaskan Malamute nope. or something very very large. Couldn't do it. And um, because I love great big dogs, but. Don't be stupid enough to think that, oh, of course, wave your fucking hands in my dog's face. No, of course, fucking throw all sorts of tomatoes and the shit The people who it's will just walk up animal. to any dog yeah, don't and fucking go to do pet that. them don't without fucking asking do that. or being because careful. Because if you get fucking bit, you deserve to. You need to respect that animal. And I feel like this whole movie, that was the message. And even he's like, you know, with the horses, he's like, no, no, don't get too close to the face. Respect this fucking animal or it will kill you. 
and and that I feel like was the real message of the movie. And I just you get, you get I loved it pretty early on that it's an animal. See, it, I, I, it's I, not like it's not driven into your skull, but like you, if you can amp. see the the like you could I I could tell like they were trying to put like that hole, mm-hmm. okay, where it, it looks like it's seeing through it, but it really isn't. Mm-hmm. It's like it's kind of doing everything through it. It's kind of (laughs) so it's like okay, I get that's the mouth. I'm just wondering, is it the mouth of a spacecraft or is it the mouth of an animal? I can't tell yet. And then I'm like, oh, the the sounds kind of sound like calls, like animal calls, and 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 then or it's mimicking what it hears. I had no clue what these. (laughs) <laughs> all all these random shit that was falling from the sky. Yeah, at I was the start, like, what I was like, could that weird. be? And then, well, then, then they, they said it. it's an aircraft, yeah. and and that kind of makes sense. But then it's like, where's the aircraft piece? I fucking like I was really enjoying myself, but I was in like balls out overload enjoyment when it's eaten. Uh, um, uh, Daniel Young and, and all the people. At, yes, at, uh, a lot of people at, his, at once. Yeah, and then it goes above their house and is just pissing blood all over their house. I that scene to me, I was in love with the fucking That's movie. I'm like, this is fucking spectacular. Yeah. yeah, I was like, this sure. is spectacular. But but I was like, I wish there was more to that scene because I, no, I don't so, think so. I thought so it was perfect. The blood comes down the house and they're inside tra- traumatized. Like, what mm-hmm. the fuck is going on? But then I'm like. What what more is there to this? Like, were bones raining down on them too? No, we could, it ingested all those. Well, you would think they would leave out bones if, if, if it's an animal. They would like but again, shit out the bones. You're, you're <laughs> filter out the like they're filtering I, out the I blood. Think, Why aren't they eating the blood? Because it's such a cool fucking scene. I know. That's I, I think you're 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 not that you're missing the point, but yeah, you're thinking too much into it. You just need to. I'm an animal lover movie. who who loves animal documentaries, and I see this, and I'm like. It does, like I understand the stuff in their pockets, the, the their their wardrobe, their mm-hmm. the I would think bones, uh, maybe even eyeballs, stuff like that would fall out. But like blood should go into into their stomach and I, eat, I and, loved and it. Process it. I loved watching uh, all gush out. Like it it just seemed like they're at the end of the movie. We see what this creature generally is. Yep, like offshoot. Of other things that we see that we see in the ocean, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're th- I'm thinking jellyfish. Yeah, kind of like a jellyfish. Yeah, I, I kind of looked at it. As, I thought it was like a living parachute. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, but that, that's what I'm thinking in terms of a jellyfish. Because if, if if you deflate a jellyfish out in the open, it's just like a soggy mess. But when you put it like in the water, it, it's like this intricate Undulating beautiful thing, thing. Yep. so so same for this when this thing exploded or what whatnot it that's just... what i like about it. It, it it folds itself up and it's this beautiful thing to look at but again be smart and keep your fucking distance and don't look at it i know? just felt I, I as much as i love the way they went with it i did not like like the whole eyeball thing and the eyeball getting bigger and uh, and it, uh, maybe the eyeball getting bigger was not really the eyeball. It was just like made it to look like that. So like it was one of those that's, predatorial like displays. That, that's what I thought of it. Like don't look at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't look it in the eye because that's what he says. Don't look the horse in the eye. Don't look the fucking monkey in the eye. That's what I. That's what I gain or got from that. It's like don't look at it. And it, what's funny is the people that keep on getting caught by it are the people that can't avoid looking at it. The only person that can avoid it is fucking OJ. Yeah, I know? love that this movie went from UFO movie to to alien movie to uh, crazy Survival monster horror. of the week yeah. alien movie. Yeah, yeah it was, I, it was uh, awesome. I really fucking enjoyed it mm-hmm. a lot more. A lot of people are saying this is the worst of the three. Oh, that's madness! And, I'm, and I, I, yeah, I, I haven't seen us, and I, I should have seen it for this podcast. But um. I, I really enjoyed Get Out. I really enjoyed Us. But once, like yeah. I was explained upstairs, once you know what's going on in Us, yeah. it starts going. For me personally, other people clearly loved it, and I loved it. Don't don't get me wrong. But it starts going into almost a kind of goofy territory, and I was like, I'm not really scared I anymore. I think he it's saw that too, stupid. though. Like, I think he embraced it. Which is because, but in this, it does the same thing. But for me, I just liked it so much. Like that fucking blood all over the house. That was the kind of okay. This is the, we're kind of we're, we're goofing up a bit. I loved it. I'm just surprised they didn't go more into horror. See, I thought it was really good horror because there's a difference between yeah, but then it stops. 
And it's not horror anymore. Yeah. We go into Monster of the Week. Yeah. but Straight I mean, up monster. But I mean, like, I don't know. Because uh, I'm not scared of it at that point. No. I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, a good horror movie kind of sticks with you and, and, and sticks in your brain and bothers you. For me, it was more the stuff that, like, I want to know what Gordy was. I wanted to know uh, uh, what note meant. Like, there was stuff like that where I was replaying it back in my brain to figure it out. And I didn't need that to be, usually that I do that with horror movies. But uh, with this, no, it was just a, a movie I really, really fucking enjoyed. It's one of those things where you're like, I would love a sequel, but I know I'm never going to get one. Yeah, no. And, 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 and he's the type. But to I don't know. Do to do, yeah. yeah, to do a sequel to this really wouldn't. To me, really wouldn't work. I just uh, it would be fine. It just wouldn't. It you. It'd be I'm sure he could. Yeah. Week. I'm it sure he be. could find something to do. But I, I I'm happy with this as a one experience. I'm really like Jordan Peele. I I think he's a wonderfully talented so guy. Us is again spoiler doppelgangers. Mm-hmm. Uh, get out was uh, brain transplants. Okay, and racism, right? Effectively they're playing on racism, they, 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 they kind of all do, right? Yeah, they all kind of do. Um, so but what, what's great what do you is think's next, I guess you can't really predict it, not at all, which is fantastic. It's same as like that's why I, I love to see that uh, Jordan Pearson's a huge John Carpenter fan because you look at The Fog and you're like, okay, that's a scary horror movie. Mm-hmm. They, you know, you look at Halloween, you look at The Fog, and you're like, yeah, this is the guy that makes uh, horror movies, and then he makes a movie like um, Escape from New York, which isn't really horror, but it's definitely dystopian, but it's not a horror movie per se. You know, and then he makes the thing, which is possibly the best, one of the best fucking horror movies ever made. And then he makes like um, uh, Assault on uh, Precinct Thirteen. <laughs> I can't believe you don't find the thing one of the best. I fucking just horror find movies it ever made. overrated. Oh my god, way overrated. You're a yeah. mad person. I, I don't know. It's, it, uh, don't you it, stick to your Fast and Fucking Furious, and I'll watch. To the be thing. honest, if I didn't grow up on Total Total Recall. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? But I didn't grow up watching that. I would probably think the same thing about that, where it's, I would think it's overrated. I love Total Recall, I but it. it's not I, Verhoeven's best movie. His I, best movie yeah. is definitely fucking uh, Robocop. Robocop I, crushes Total Recall. I can't watch Recall. it again. It's just boring to me. God. I can watch Total Recall because I grew up on it, but... You just want to watch the girl with the big three tits in, no, uh, in Total Recall. I, Recall. I bet. I just love the scene where he's I'm gonna like, get in her trying to breathe on Mars. <laughs> get these people air <laughs> I just love the fucking shit he says so nope out of 10 oh man how many nopes out of 10 I'm going to give it 9 nopes out of 10 I really? loved wow, it I had big. a ball wow. I so, am looking forward to when this comes to 4K and watching it in my movie yeah I, I keep telling Nicole that I'm going to make her watch it and she's like nope <laughs> Nope. <laughs> no, no way. I'm like, it's not scary. Like, she hates scary. We'll movies. watch you and your son and your wife get together and I, watch it. I wouldn't show him because he'd be freaked out about the parts that, like I was freaked out about. Oh, shit. Another thing I loved, and again, I didn't fucking put it together until after the movie, is when he says uh, the biggest crush, you know, of my very first crush, my co-star, Leanne, or whatever the fuck her name was. Oh, yeah. And her face is all ripped off. And you it, see that in the trailer, and you're like, "Oh, it's it's something that's happening I, because they're looking at something, right?" And it, this is how fucking stupid I was. It took me until after the movie to go, "Oh yeah, Gordy, chewed her fucking face apart." <laughs> but I, I, it didn't occur to me until after the fucking movie was over. I, it occurred to me like as soon as they showed the face, like, well, her in the the the, 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 the veil, face, the veil, and I was like, because I knew it from the trailer, and I'm like. Oh, okay. I, I didn't clue. It didn't That's fucking clue into me that. until until uh, after the movie. I'm like, oh yeah, Gordy. The trailer hater. itself is made to make you think it's an Independence Day type thing. Yeah, kind totally. of. Eh? And 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 great. If people go to this thinking it's a scary Independence Day, great because they're gonna have a ball. I think so. Unless they're stupid and they're one of those people that are like. Dude, Independence Day was so smart. Uh, was I'm smart sure there was a bunch of people who went to this and was like hoping for their horror thrill ride and just got to- totally like <laughs> disappointed. I feel like that old people, that old people, old couple that was in front of us. I feel like there's no way he they got a scare it. of his life. Why? Me? Oh, by you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get COVID, sir? Nope. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I feel like. That couple wouldn't enjoy this movie. But again, you know what? Like they I probably said, man, did. I went to, I told you this before, I went to The Fly uh, when they were doing the David Cronenberg exhibit in uh, in Toronto. And we're all watching The Fly. And The Fly is 
the last 10, 15 minutes of The Fly is possibly the best horror ever made. Um, just, you cannot top it. I've never watched it. You are terrified in that last 15 minutes. No matter how many times you see it, you're petrified. And when uh, the Brundle Fly falls out of uh, the chamber, uh, uh, or the telepod, and he's pulling himself forward, and, and he's he's trying to get Gina Davis to point the gun at his head, and it's sad, and Jesus Christ, this scene is so emotionally crushing. I'm sitting in the fucking, uh, my seat, and I look over, and there's this lady, and she had to be easily 80 years old, and she's watching this movie with just like, like she was in love with it. She was just like, huh, and the look on her face was like, because it was filmed in Toronto, right? She was like, I remember being there with these guys and filming this scene. The The look of love and devotion and happiness in her eyes was amazing. Because I'm watching the scene of this fly that gets its fucking head blown apart by the woman that's just impregnated. And she's crying and her fucking ex-husband has his fucking hand and foot melted off. And I'm like, that's not the look that I would expect. Well, maybe she just had a stroke. And was just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, But I was just uh... like, one, I don't expect a woman that age to be here. Again, you know, be being ageist. Know. Yeah. But I think she had something to do with the original production because she was just looking at it with just like ah, the most loving fucking eyes. Also could be one of those things where like I lost my virginity to this movie. <laughs> <Can you imagine? laughs> that or Ben Hur, right? <laughs> Bend her. Oh hilarious. Uh thank you for watching. How many nopes do you give nope out of oh, nope? Oh shoot, yeah. Uh, How many nopes oh. out of nope? I, uh, eight. Eight, out, Eight of ten. Nopes out of nope. I really enjoyed it. I loved that it. I loved that it wasn't a super horror movie at the end. Like I was so worried. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna have to pee. Yeah, monster a lot of the week. Well, I knew you, you like that, don't you? I think it sucks. Do you? I hate it. Really? But I will have to pee a lot. Huh. He always says that about my drinks. What is that? The strawberry one? It is okay. the strawberry, strawberry lemonade. lemonade. I thought you liked shit like that. I hate it. It stinks. You should jump into NOS on our next show when we are covering your favorite, Miss Marvel. All right. Subscribe. Subscribe and watch and smash likes and uh, smash TikToks likes. and fucking grinders and wherever else we are. He's uh, multiple different uh, social medias. That's right. You'll that find me. Go to. You'll find me on Grinder. I think you use Instagram TikTok. the most. TikTok. You know, Reddit. I think you use Reddit. Yeah, the most. But I look no one, up. No one uses our Reddit. I. I <laughs> Watching complain on Reddit. I look up really disgusting things on Reddit, and I insult people uh, on the. Uh, <laughs> He's like our own insult comic dog. Yeah, but I, in, the insult comic dog is smarter than me. Not to mention, I'm one of those assholes who like shows up and goes <laughs> "fuck you" and then runs away. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I usually do. So Watch. yes, come visit us. Watchingcomplain.com.com is. Bye.